Ted and I were just visiting. We were chatting about his really cool, quirky comedy where he's sort of the architect of the waiting room of heaven. And when I asked him what was heavenly to him, or if he was the architect, what would he, you know, what would he be designing? I, honest to God, I almost had to brush my teeth. He said he lives in heaven because of Mary and his beautiful family. Uh, I know. I know. That's a selfie clearly he took, because my arms aren't that long, or, <laughs> or even in the picture, uh, um, on our 21st Aww. anniversary, which was October 7th. So sweet. All right, so you get to repay the compliment, but then I'm going to bring us all back down to earth. So what's so heavenly about Ted for you? Um, Ted is just actually one of the great human beings on the planet. He's, I, I have to work hard to <laughs> live up to him, trust me. He's, like, he's just a really good human being. He just makes you smile all the time. Yeah, he's funny and he's real and um, brilliant and he's trying to save the oceans He's of trying the to save world. the planet, feed the world and save the ocean. You know what? It's true sometimes in Hollywood that people are well-intentioned and they do something for a few years and they right. burn out. But my husband for many, many years has Tireless. worked on yeah. ocean advocacy and global warming. And um, you can go to Oceana.org and read what he's doing. It's very, it's never been more exciting. Than right Fantastic. Yeah. All right, now I said I was going to bring it back down to earth. I adore my husband, John. We've been together like, I don't know, 15 years or so. 11 of them legally married. But if I could change anything, the way he blows his nose is ridiculous. It's like, Horton, here's a who. Is there anything about Ted that kind of drives you a little bit nuts? You're like, oh, honey, oh. OK, you know, you know what drives me nuts is um, he often doesn't remember people's names. And, but he's not shy and retiring about it. He'll pick a name and go like blazing it. <laughs> and it's like, I watch it going. And it's like, please, no! <laughs> and it's you like, wish you could pull the thought bubble back. Yeah, and I'm constantly trying to say, hello, Genie. You know, <laughs> like, how's. He's like, we haven't seen Genie for a long time. And he goes, yeah, Gail, I haven't seen you forever. And it's like, it's like, what don't you get about all these cues I'm giving you? And you know what? I'll give you another thing. Uh -huh, but this now we're cooking. Yeah. But this isn't him. This is like, I don't know about you women, but I don't know if this happens to people that aren't married to famous actors mm -hmm. or people that people think they know him from watching TV. So literally, a woman has one drink, and she comes up and just wants to sit on his lap. Oh and my stuff. God! And it's like, like she's in I, cheers. Yeah, and I wanna, I wanna punch their lights out. I, 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 See, I, I would. It's like, I would never do that like, to your husband. A compliment, fine, but yeah. you, you get on the lap, you're getting in the neck, sister. Yeah. I mean, I was sitting yesterday in our hotel room, and he goes to get something at the door, and I hear the woman who, who you know, was giving him the pillow or what, the dry cleaning or whatever, and she went. Oh my God, you're a handsome man. And I'm like, oh, let me, I'm like running Lady, your, we don't need turn like, down service. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm well, glad they like him, but it's like, really? Really? Does every woman put up with it? Am I invisible? <laughs> Hello, right here.